making ratatouille whilst listening to rat. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, oh, the traffic is just terrible. I never wait here. How are we doing? It is 10 to 9 and I'm going for a personal training session. I'm looking forward to it because I haven't had a personal training session with Kat in ages, but we're doing it. So, what's going on in my life? This is the beginning of my... I wouldn't say fitness journey because it's not like I've not... I don't work out because I, I do train or boot camp like every week and I'm quite on top of it. But um, I would say more so now I am making a bit more effort to track what I'm doing, to work even harder, to get my heart rate up, just pay paying a bit more attention and also um i'm using october as an opportunity to to stop drinking um, even though stoptober is for smoking um but i'm like well it's stop tober so surely you can just stop something that you want to stop whenever i say oh i'm not drinking at the moment or i'm sort of stopped drinking at the moment it kind of makes it sound like you have a drinking issue, like, oh, I drink way too much, or I just need to stop, I need to go on a detox. It's not that at all, it's just, I am trying to rewire my habits and my thinking around food and alcohol, not just from a health perspective, but sort of from a mental one as well, and come and understand, like, my emotional connection with food and alcohol in a different kind of way. It's just things like, go for a meal, I don't always have to order a pint, I don't always have to have a cocktail, I don't always have to have a glass of wine. And there was a time, like a few years ago, where I would barely order a drink when I was out, like eating or just out in the daytime. Now it's just like a habit that, go into a pub, go into a restaurant, I'll have a pint, what beers you got? There's nothing wrong with that, but I want to be able to give myself the option of not to do that, if that makes sense. Like it just becomes default, it just becomes habit, it just becomes like what I do. I don't always need to do that. And it's just kind of, it smells like marijuana. She was smoking a spliff at the bus stop. Christ. It's just remembering that I can, I can it's more like I can. I can say no, I can have the alternative. I can, uh, I could talk about this for ages. I could talk about this for ages, but anyway, I am stuck in traffic, so maybe this is a great opportunity. No, so this marks sort of like the beginning of me just trying to be, uh, I'm not gonna say more healthy, but I guess I guess it's more of a case of having a healthier mindset than necessarily being like, oh, I'm gonna clean up my act because I wanna lose all this weight. It's more, the way I put it is, my body's fine, nothing wrong with it, but I could trim up in some places that I want to, just cause, just cause. So I'm on my way to PT. I will do a more in-depth video in like eight weeks time. I'm here. just kind of warmed up her leg she squatted 45 which isn't um, the heaviest she can go but it's just so we could work on like her depth and her form because I've not um, trained her in a little while just could be like busy um, so now we're doing RDL so it's a Romanian deadlift so it's different to a conventional deadlift as you can see like her back is really straight and her hips stay a lot higher and that's putting all that tension down through the hamstring and lower back whereas a conventional deadlift your hips would sink a little bit more to meet the floor and you'd um be working like through your whole body so that is what we're doing so now she'll feel this in her hamstrings we're going to go a little bit heavier this is 30 kilograms um but the trick with this one is just like control okay so we've got a weighted step up try and keep your arms a little bit straighter so that weight goes through your legs we're doing 12 of these and then we're going straight into a body weight walking lunge it's almost like a drop down set so we're still kind of isolating each leg at a time so 12 of these with the weights and then 20 walking lunge. Helen normally does really heavy walking lunges, but for the purpose of what I want to do now with gone body weight is I could drop down. Oh. <laughs> We're lunging. <laughs> what lunge? <sighs> Sweaty. My legs are gonna hurt tomorrow. Here. Yeah. I had a sort out of um, a load of my Oh, press samples, and the girls are just having a dig, having a dig. <laughs> so, it's like Christmas. Oof. Oof, oh, I'm not even allowed, I'm not even allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's eight. Might be long. 
go on. Nice. Okay, and then we're gonna go straight into him to drink her. I love this one. Yeah. I always love this one. It makes my bum feel nice. <laughs> so this is the hamstring curl isolate. It's just the hamstrings, pretty much on their own, a little bit of car, which is a really weird feeling. It feels like it's like a bubble in your hamstrings is about to like pop. Yeah. It's the only really way you can isolate hamstrings. This paired with the RDLs that you've just done is a really good combo for hamstrings. Try not to arch your back so much, just try and be a bit more neutral. Yeah, good. <laughs> God damn it, don't you know how sexy I am? <laughs> <laughs> Three, four, so this is a quad extension. This is doing the same thing and isolating your quads, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, gonna ache tomorrow. Got my new hydro jug. I had one of these before, ages ago, but I dropped it and it split. I don't know how, <laughs> but it did. Um, but they sell them in the UK now. The one I got was from America and it took absolute weeks to arrive. And I think it was an import, I can't remember, end up spending a bloody fortune on a warble. But um, these are UK now and you can customise it completely. Bottle of colour of your bottle and then how you want your sleeve. And I did a bundle, so I got two. It was worked out a little bit cheaper and my friend Danny got one as well. So she came over in the middle of the other night and we were just sat in, we were just drinking water. <laughs> rock and roll um and we love them it was good fun but basically one of these is your recommended water intake for the day and you get a straw with it which i like because i don't like i don't so stupid but when i go like that i just get water all over my face i don't know how to drink and this is a bendy straw so you kind of just push it down and then goes in and click it in and then smile at me what are you looking at what are you looking at i'm going now What's he fucking looking at? I'm scared. Why are you looking at me? He's like just keep staring and smiling at me. Like is he being really, really nice? Is he being really nice? I don't know. Hello, 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 hello. Hey. We okay? Should we have some breakfast? Mmm, we're gonna have. We're gonna have here. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get. Ooh, chicken. For my breakfast, I'm having porridge. It is in the microwave. I'm gonna have it with some uh, peanut butter. Blueberries. Yeah, that'll do. Lovely old job. Make a green tea. Got this stuff. I love mint flavoured stuff, so mint green tea, winner. And here we are, frozen blueberries, give them a mix in, make them defrost a bit. So today I'm filming a sponsored post, The Sky, um, because The Buzzcocks is back, never mind The Buzzcocks, mega show, and I'm um, doing a reel, and they're like quite open for ideas, like as long as it's sort of music related, or like, you know what I mean? Music or buzzcocky related. So on my story last week, I I did a, I basically want to make, um, do a makeup look, which is inspired by an album cover. So I picked a bunch of album covers, got people to vote. And I think the one that got like the most votes which I'm well chuffed with, is Just Push Play by Aerosmith, which is this one. And so I'm gonna do a makeup look, which is inspired by that uh, album cover, which is well cool. Um, I feel like so fucking lucky and blessed that the one bit, the thing that I have got to do for my job today is recreate an Aerosmith album cover. Like Aerosmith from my all time favorite band, this is fucking cool. Dream come true. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna go do it and then we'll see where we're at. Girls need a walk at some point, don't you girlies? Yeah! <laughs> showered? I'm showered. Are you showered, girls? What were you coming for? I do that a lot. <laughs> Face is, skincare is done. I use some glycolic, uh, some pixie glycolic acid pads today, 20% acids or something. Um, and some of us new skincare. Feeling the glow, feeling the glow. So, 
so the footage is uploading to my computer. Oi! Whilst that imports, I'm going to make the lunch. And um, the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. What have we got? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make it, and then I'm gonna leave it on the side for a bit to get not not fully to room temperature because I'll be here all day. I don't like food that's just come out of the fridge, like the fridge cold. Just don't like it. Too cold on my teeth. I weigh my food out. I weigh it out. 220 grams of this shit. This is sweet potatoes, butternut squash, sweet corn, courgette, pepper, onion, did I say onion? Like a Mediterranean vegetable medley of sweet potato and butternut squash. Oh god yeah, might have a bit more actually. I just chuck it with you. All of this, I chuck it in the air fryer and I put in like a fajita mix sachet. Easy peasy, and 100 grams of chicken. Diane, go away. Crunchy. This is that 10 calorie mayonnaise. Doesn't really taste or anything, but I just like to lubricate my food. I like having a bit of sauce on things. Not just always for the flavour, but for the lubrication. A goop in my food. Lovely, hold on. Hello, little dog. A bit of juice. Mandarin, carrot, apple, ginger, flax seeds with vitamins. Let's go. Let's go down to the office. I'm gonna just leave this on the side to get warm. Are you coming, Dee Dog? So I finished my work. I had a therapy session just now. Um, Phil's got home from work. Oh! My banana trees are getting plants, they're not trees. Are out of hand. Actually, from this side, it looks even more impressive. <laughs> Look how big they are. It's amazing. The garden is just mental at the minute. It's great. Um, Phil's got back from work. Go see how he is. Hello, darling. Hello. Are you alright? What are you up to? I'm going to go and change my friend's kitchen tap. Cool. Do I need to move my car for you? Have you done it? You need to move it. Mm -hmm. um, I drank so much water just now that I feel like I'm going to explode. I also feel like I might poo myself. I haven't had that much to do today, which has been quite nice. Um, ebbs and flows. Is that the right term? Sometimes I feel like I've got 10,000 things to do and other days I don't have 10,000 things to do. I feel like I have 10,000 things to do every day, all the time. Because you've got a real job. <laughs> <laughs> a real job? No, I have a real job. That's just un a real job. Just un unconventional. You're just self-employed mm -hmm. and unconventional when I'm trying to run around and do my normal job and do another other bits, keep people happy. Yeah, that's right. Right, thank you for that. Love you. I love you too. Let me know when you're sort of nearly done because I'll start tea. Because apparently this tea takes 50 minutes to cook. 50? Yeah. 5 zero. Okay. I'll ring you when I'm on the way back or when I'm okay. about to leave. Bye bye. Love, love you, you. Love you. Say hi to everyone for me. Love you. I'm going to go to the toilet. Shall we go for a walk? So I've been doing some decluttering because. All right. So what happened was obviously I had all my stuff from. I had all the stuff. I had all the, the makeup stuff that I sorted out that I took to PT this morning. So it all started because I was doing two reasons. I was sorting the merch out for the band and I was repacking it all. And I was struggling to, I wanted it, I wanted it to be all neat and tidy in the shelves properly, all packaged nicely and easy accessible. Um, not in the boxes that they arrived in but I've got I had loads of makeup stuff in the studio which I was going to use for filming but it's been there for months and realistically speaking I always just sort of end up gravitating towards the same makeup I don't use it all um, and I just felt like it was wasted on me basically because there's so much on it of it 
And then also, um, so I sorted that out. And then also with Phil's brother and sister-in-law coming over and the babies, um, I wanted to make as much room as possible in the spare room for them. So I emptied the spare room drawers, which had a lot of press samples in as well, um, because I wanted them to be able to put their stuff in there. And it was just a good excuse for me to have a sort out because it needed to be done anyway. So I had a good sort out of like all my press samples from like accumulated over like probably the last year, as well as the makeup. Um, so I'm just sort of left with all the stuff that I use day to day, or the stuff that's really sort of new in that I want to try out. And then the rest of it is uh, obviously going to go to friends and then figure out uh, where the rest of it's going to go. Um, and But then it kind of got me thinking, oh, I sort of really want to sort my clothes out as well, because uh, it always happens. Like I'll have a good sort out, things will be good for a few months, and then like, I don't know, I'll, 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 I'll buy some new things because my sort of, not style's changing, but I think, I think um, I bought a few new things, quite a lot of new things recently because of the hair change that's just sort of made me want to wear different things or able to wear different things. Um, and there's some stuff that I just don't wear enough anymore, so I just take it to the charity shop. So I, I want to go sort my clothes out this evening. You know, like right, lowly. I just love kissing you. There's a TikTok where it's um they're sniffing different parts of the dog. They go, ah, ah, ah. I love it. It's so true though, because you smell really good actually. You smell like I just washed your bed sheets, so you smell really nice. Diane's the cheesy one. Yeah, I said your name. Edie. Dee Dee! Dee Dee! Dee Dee! Shall we go for a walk? Shall we go for a walk? <coughs> what girls? I know this coat is overkill. I know, but what if it rains? It's been raining a lot today. Your turn first, tiny little. <laughs> so cute. You little V. Oh, just, just too much, aren't you, darling? Wait. 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 You better wait. Wait. Ah! Wait. 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 Why do you do that? Did you hear me say go? Did you hear me say go? No, you're bad. You're very bad. I think like you're the queens and I'm the sorry person. It's not okay. You having a sniff? Oh, I would give you your ball. I am gonna give you your ball because you need your exercise, but I don't think you deserve it running off like that. Here it is, ready? I got it. Get it. Oh, it's raining. Good job I put my unnecessarily large coat on. Hey. Hey. Oh wow. It's beautiful. Beautiful sunset. Here you go. Ready? Wee! Bam! Just so nice. Go get it! I know it's cliche. But going out for a walk really does light it, lift the mood. Oh, look at the, the sun on the trees. Sun on the trees there. Oh, just natural beauty, isn't it? It's just the most basic form of happiness. Anyway, no, going for a walk, like, I mean, I've been in a really good mood today anyway, but I'm just saying, like, just going for a walk generally, for me makes my mood just really good, really good. Um, oh my God, I need a wee, I need a wee. Ah, uh, anyway. Um, especially if you're in a not a good mood, going out for a walk feels like the last thing you want to do with your life. Go for a fucking walk. Find a nice park and go for a walk. Or find a beach or a river bank. I'm, I'm walking with my bum sticking out because this is my I need a wee walk. My mum used to tell me off for doing this. Not tell me off, she'd just laugh. You're sick of your bum out again, go to the toilet. Oh, fuck. It's because I drank all that water. 
and I went to the toilet, but maybe that wasn't that wee. That was a different wee. I'm gonna have to go in a hedge. I'm gonna have to go in a hedge. I need a nature wee. I'll find a hedge. Whoa! Where did this come from? Wow! I'll be back in a minute. Okay, this is like the perfect setting for a horror film now, isn't it? I feel like Blair Witch. I just had to run and dive my dive into a hedge. Diane! Right, let's walk back then, shall we? <sighs> Out of the woods, and this way. Where's your ball? Get it. Oh, just beautiful. Lola, it's over here. She was not paying attention. Careful, it's round this area. Round here. This way. Lola, over here. <laughs> Careful. I don't want you getting a grass seed in you. Well, I can't find it. Can you? We might have to leave it. Determination. I'm making ratatouille whilst listening to rat. <laughs> whilst that's cooking. I'm gonna prep my those are my oats. So it's half a cup of oats and then one cup of milk. That's how I do it. Blueberries. Here we are. It's all done. This is ratatouille with saffron rice. Thank you. Oh crap. Is this more baked rice? Yeah, love mm. baked rice. Yeah, I like baked rice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, good. Magnum's sorted bag of things to go to the charity shop. Got a bath running. Here you go. Mmm. Mm. Comforter. Mm. I'm going to write my to-do list for tomorrow because I've got loads to sort out. Oh, God, I'm warm. Add task, gym. We're in here, what are you doing? Get off your back. Come on. What are you, what, what, get up. Anyway, that was my day. <laughs> my hair is just on here. That was my day. I'm gonna get up to bed, put my moisturizer on, and close my eyes. Good night. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.